step is melting the cacao so whether it's powder or solids and break it down a bit and then I'm just sort of stirring it with a wooden spoon so until it's smooth and melted. Step of the process I've just added one tablespoon of flour and I'm going to stir that in. Last step of the process is I've got the cacao with the flour and then mixed to a paste. It's just like making white sauce or roux. So the cacao is fascinated in place a part of the butter. So when you add a little and then simply adding a cup of milk using oat milk to white sauce or brown through and it just believe it or not when I learned to make white sauce you don't need to work the milk in slowly just keep stirring it it smooths out just honey because it doesn't need the enzymes to break it down like sugar, malt and milk do. So we just, so you see it's getting thick and smooth. All, all of the stuff I melted in the pan and mixed with the flour is all getting worked into the milk into a really nutritious drink and this will start my day just doing this at the moment. And then I'm going for a walk. And it's also weird how it works emotionally, seems to open up hidden feelings and everything. So it's really getting thick now. So I take it all the way up to when it starts to bubble. And then it's just right to drink. There we go, look at that, it's smooth, all that stuff's worked in. It's really easy and it's just like making Roux. I don't know if some people call it bechamel, I'm sure. I call it white sauce, and this is the same method to make a nice thick cheese sauce as well. It's the fat and the flour and the milk and the magic that they mix together. There we go, so that's that's almost ready. Look at that. Takes two minutes hot steaming but not too hot cup of thick drinking cacao <laughs>